Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Age of Empires 2. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Now, before we go up, move on to Forge and Alliance, I'll let you know I have, uh, that I was asked to turn the volume down, so I've cut that by half, so if the game seems quieter, that's intentional. But, uh, you'll have to let me know if I've dumbed things down too far, or... or or if it's not enough, feedback feedback is necessary in this instance because I make my videos with with the presumption in mind of well I can tolerate that, which is what they were at before when the volume was apparently too loud. <laughs> Regardless, let's see if the Scots can make friends. This could be complicated. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling, so we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct the market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that acquiring the, acquiring the artifacts sounds mutually exclusive from making friends. Whatever. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. The situation's starting to look up. Did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? Hmm? You can show only military units or only resources and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the minimap. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic, and the English have captured a third. Mm. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Well, that sounds useful. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. Farms are a good source of food once you've exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right-click a farm. But of course, I've already taken care of that. No! You! Get back over there! Sheep! Come this way! Uncooperative co little jerks. No wonder we cull your population. Ah! We also have something completely different. Boars. Wild boars! A lot of food! The trouble is, of course, they, uh... They don't like being hunted. Funny, that. And, uh... Yeah, they'll, uh... They'll kind of do harm to your villagers. <laughs> it's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow flyer, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your ally. Uh, to trade, you'll need to build a bar. Hint, hint. You there. Fancifully enough, a market is is most profitable with the further away it is, according to how the crow flies. So, uh, make our market of best value. It's going over here. Because <laughs> our ally is over here. We'll see how long they remain an ally. You. Come this way. I want you to do something dangerous, but important. That's why I want the monks coming this way. <laughs> I 
Everyone ready? Pull! Run, girl! It's coming right for us! Get it now! Have a market. The market can create trade cards to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. The market, sell food for gold. Yay! That's how that works. Ew! Proceed to also do something dangerous. Pull! We'll see whether or not that's uh, good enough timing there. You are. Stop looking stupid. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building. <laughs> you can have your units move to a spot once they're created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. We'll just grab all three of these and say gather over there. Well, I suppose we better set about looking somewhat useful. You there. There's my other scout dude. There's my other scout dude. I'm going to leave you guys idle for a moment so I can figure out you can use the where I want those farms rebuilt. To technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. Alright. Oh! Farm! A A. Alright, so... Huh. That is a larger than normal mill. Alright then. I want you to go and help gather wood. I'll help you guys out with that. You what? Call those sheep. Thank you. What else we got out here? Call you group one. Call you group two. You pretend to be useful. Very good. Uh, where's that other horseman standing around at? Aha! Come up here and go that way.
Ah, there's the other boars. Kia, bid fear. Oh, you guys work quick. Yeah, that I'm just gonna leave that other boar or alone. You go get some wood. Let's get on with things. Those other boars, I should say. Okay, maybe not. I mean, we haven't yet defeated all of the sheep. Walk this way, did you not understand, you, you punk? Hello, sir! If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Yay! And, more importantly, there's his market, so... Let's get us a cart going. Nice walls they have around here. You made a trade card. If you click the trade card on your allies market, you can make extra gold. Your trade card will automatically make trips between your and your allies market. You come down this way. Aha! A relic! Hooray! Hooray for the trading operation! And since the uh, trade cart has to travel such grand distances, 56 gold is the profit that it'll make from its round trip. Why don't you make this guy work for me? Hooray! Welcome aboard, sir. 
English are attacking our town. Can you attribute any spare food or gold to us? Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town and let's drive the English out. Tribute your ally. Click the diplomacy button in the upper right corner of your screen. Give your allies some food and gold, but don't give him everything you own. You are, sir. Put the peoples back together. you want to drop off your food and uh, commence with uh, lessening the sheep population. That sheep. All right, you haul this thing back to the monastery. These relics, to my understanding, give about one gold every two seconds. Somewhere in that neck of the woods. And that is per relic that you have uh, cloistered away in the monastery. It's actually, you can get a good look at what the Britons have sitting over here. Apart from, you know, impending doom. Walls! They have walls! How dare they! If I'm to get through these walls in anything that resembles speed, I think I'm going to need something. Let's see if that technology tree can help me with that. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Is it this one? Aha! Well, let's see. What does this tell us? Well, it gives us an indication of what age we're in, and subsequently what we can build from each building. And in fact, when we can build said buildings. Pretty useful. Ox barracks, the stable. Um, not seeing anything super useful. There's the monastery, so we could build that one upon reaching the castle age. So we started a little, a little early with one. Theoretically, we could build a castle. I wonder if the scenario is going to let us. Siege Workshop! That sounds applicable. <laughs> you now have two relics, Garrison. Bring back one more and you'll be victorious. Hey, they will let us build a castle. We don't have enough stone to build that castle, but they will let us build it. Uh, 
Oh, let's see. Let's have those guys go over there. Kind of want this to join them once it's capable of throwing stuff in that direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get back to your farm. Uh, battering rams. Those sound applicable. The other thing sounding applicable is more troops. those. A whole bunch of experiments in that, in that regard. Two, we'll go for a third. Uh, let's see about these technologies. Oh, hey, you are going, you are just, just building away. Hooray! That's good to know. Or at the mill, we can actually set aside wood for uh, the villagers to, to immediately replant their farms. Admittedly, I should have uh, researched the heavy plow before doing any of that, but... If you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. Thanks, fella. Upgrade our cal or at least scouts into something better. E. This place looks like it would have resistance. Still more sheep. Away with you. Be cold. Let's see. What are my forces including? Um. I think I'm going to want some archers or crossbowmen. I think what I really need to do is just set about getting on getting on with the business. Well, This is group three. Include those two. Infantry and cavalry. Some 
more folk at arms. Call the sheep. Keep over here, sheep. Just bad things happen. Sheep. I wish they had a different use, from, use in this game from just being massacred for food, but... Well, what can you do? If we want these rams to move faster, we could actually uh, shove people into them to help make them more effective, but, you know. a little beside the point. Let's make things happen. specifically. Out of the way. You guys get in there. You get it, guy! <laughs> what do you think about these, about these siege rams? Yeah, they're a little bit difficult to uh, bring down with archers, but they die really fast to anything that just walks up and beats them up. Good thing I built three of them. Alright guys, commence the beatings. Let the siege rams deal with the uh, buildings. You guys need to deal with squishier targets. Lot of damage to buildings at all, do you? Makes sense, I suppose.
All right, you run that back. To there, specifically. You guys go beat up some buildings. What are you guys doing? I want you to go over here. Why are you walking over there? Run, you stupid twits! Run, you fools! Fun and amusing. It sounded like for a moment the fighting was still going on. With the three relics now locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. People don't murmur about being blessed. Stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers, and knights of our own with which to meet Longshanks. We march south, to Falkirk, where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace, and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I'll have to come back next time to find out what happens when... And the for and the forces of the Scottish ish battle the experienced forces of the English. But that will that will will come next time. We'll see you then. Later.